Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for July 16, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the USD JPY US dollar versus Japanese yen for today's trade analysis. Looking here on the daily time frame, we can see clearly it's been a downtrend for quite some time. We go all the way up back, back up here to the top of the chart. Back in April, we capped out just above the 112 level at the very top of the chart and we've been moving down ever since making a new low down just underneath the 107 level the green shaded area at the very bottom of the chart in recent days though we've seen a little bit of a rebound the market moved back from the 107 level back into near the 109 level top of this little blue trend line pressuring back higher and however in the past couple of days a little bit of a fallback a little bit of a fall back down back into the 107.85 level, the blue shaded area here on the chart. So we've seen a little bit of a back and forth over the past couple of days, rising and then falling. We're currently finding support at the blue shaded area, 107.85, 108.05 is that blue shaded area top and bottom. We know that historically, this has been an area of decision before. You look all the way back to the left-hand side of the chart, you see support here previously at the same blue shaded area the blue circle shows support and again a continuation of the rising trend so the question of course is on the day will we find support like we did back here at the blue circle if i zoom back just a bit you can see it was coming from a significant spike lower found support at that blue zone and made an uptrend so if you take that as a context here for the current market you know that uh, the potential is it finds support and we see a rising trend develop. If, if of course, it breaks through there and goes lower, then, of course, it invalidates that and we look for new lows to be made. So it's a significant decision zone. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it a little bit more. And you look now, in this vantage point, you see the left-hand side, the blue shaded area, one, two, three, four, five days found support, went back to the pink zone, came down for a couple days, found support, broke, make the new low. So here we are again one two three and now the fourth day finding support here at 107.85 108.05 so there's really two questions to answer will the sellers remain in control along this little short blue trend line and will it break through the blue zone and go lower or will the buyers come back in like they did on the left hand side and send it back up again that's really the two questions that we need to figure out will it break and go lower or will it bounce and go back up of course we'll keep an eye on whatever the dollar does with news over the past over the next couple of days uh, but currently we're just held up we're holed up inside this blue shaded area and waiting for one of these two things to happen down to the four hour time frame as we get down here and that really doesn't help us out any to answer those questions does it because over the past well since market open we've just been stuck inside this blue shaded area since market opened this week so we really need some answer here we need this some answer whether it's going to break above or below we'll be looking for a clear single breakout above the 10805 level or a clear single breakout below the 107.85 level to give us confidence in that breakout scenario, keeping an eye on uh, how that plays out, uh, getting underneath going lower, getting above going higher. It really hasn't done that yet. I think if you're going to trade this, you're still just kind of waiting to see if that happens. One last thing before we move on, something we've studied in the live trade room for the past couple of days is these four or three black boxes here on the chart. Bottom of the trend, we saw a low on the left. Uh, in the, the left-hand side black box, low on the left. We see a low in the middle, and now we're developing a potential low on the right. Inverted head and shoulders is what we're trying to figure out. If this in, ends up an inverted head and shoulders, we could begin looking at this as a higher low on the right-hand side. And if this comes to fruition, if the head and shoulders stays intact, and eventually breaks above the pink zone, we could be looking for a significant rally higher for the U.S. yen. So uh, inverted head and shoulders possibility here at the 107.85 level. Uh, but for right now, I think the main focus is waiting for that breakout, either above or below the blue zone, for the dollar yen today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.